Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be solving adding reverse numbers. So this morning I woke up and I went on my Discord and I saw this problem posted there. I guess one of the members of the Discord was having an issue um, solving it. And I kind of get why they had an issue. It wasn't that their code wasn't right. It was that they were missing a critical part of this question. All right. So it looks, it's a very easy problem, but there's just, just one critical part of the problem. Um, that if you miss it, uh, you will pretty much get the output wrong. Okay. So it states the antique comedians of Macedonia, can you pronounce that, prefer comedies or tragedies. Unfortunately, most of the ancient plays are tragedies. Therefore, the dramatic advisor of ACM has decided to transfigure some tragedies into comedies. Obviously, this work is very hard because the basic sense of the play must be kept intact. Although all of the things change to their opposites, for example, the numbers, if any number appears in the tragedy, it must be converted to its reverse form, therefore being accepted into the comedy play. Reverse number. Reverse number is a number written in Arabic numerals, but the order of digits reversed, the first digit becomes last and vice versa. For example, if the main hero had 1,245 strawberries in the tragedy. Now he has 5,421 of uh, of them now. Note that all leading zeros are omitted. That means if the number ends with zero, the zero is lost by reversing. All right. So this is this is an easy case of reversing numbers, right? By uh, base ten is that if you have a number like uh, 1,200 as you have here, when you reverse those the backwards zeros are lost. So that's an easy part to deal with, all right? Also note that reverse numbers never has any trailing zeros. ACM needs to calculate with reverse numbers. Your task is to add two reverse numbers and output the reverse sum. That's the part of the problem that he missed. It says output the reverse sum, okay? And you would think that the sum that you're outputting pretty much is just the reverse of the two numbers, right? And that was the problem right there. Of course, the result is not unique because any particular number is a reverse form of several numbers. 21 could be 12, 120, or 1200 before reversing. Uh, thus, we must assume that no zeros were lost by reversing. Assume that the original number was 12, all right? So now it states that uh, the input consists of n cases equal to about 10,000. The first line of the input contains only uh, contains only positive number n. Then follow the cases. Each case consists of exactly one line with two positive integers separated by spaces. All right. These are the reverse numbers uh, you are to add. All right. Then uh, it says for each case, print exactly one line containing only one integer. Reverse sum of two reverse numbers. Omit any leading zeros in the output. All right. So this took a little while to get read, but normally I would I read this question like three times before I started coding it, and I did this in C plus plus. Okay. So I'm gonna just reverse the logic and do it in Java. Obviously, I haven't submitted one in Java, so. Don't think I should make any mistakes, but let's get this started. So I'm going to go ahead and submit the solution. And so with this problem, let me make this bigger here. All right, I think that's good enough. So what we need to do is we need to uh, get the number of cases, get get the two uh, numbers, and then we have to reverse them, add them together, and then reverse the actual uh, result for that. Okay, and then we have to print out that result. So the first thing we want to do is we probably just want to go ahead and reverse a number. So I'm going to say public uh, static int, and we're going to reverse the number. Let's take in the number. All right, so we need a result. So let's say uh, result is going to equal to zero, and while number is not equal to zero, 
we're going to reverse the order of the number, right? So we're going to say int remainder is going to equal to number mod 10. So that's going to give us the last number. Then we're going to say result is going to equal result times 10 plus remainder. And what this is going to do is put the number, the remainder in its proper um, 10 base 10 place okay so remember in base 10 we have 10 and then we have 100 and 1000 and so forth right so i want to put this in the first place and then what we want to do is we want to say number all right divided by equal to 10 we're going to re reduce that number by 10 and then all we have to do is pretty much just uh return uh you can get that right return the result all right so i have this as part um, I have this reverse uh, number problem as part of my YouTube channel. I think it's probably under uh, interview questions or something like that for the playlist. So you can find this there with a little bit more explanation. All right, but we're just trying to solve this and I don't want to take too long. So one thing you see here is uh, it, it throws a Java uh, .lang exception. So... Um, it didn't do this for C++. So what we can do is we could just try with resources and I can create a scanner here and call this one uh, input uh, equal to new scanner uh, system dot in, all right? And let me close that here. Okay, so what we need is we need the num cases all right um say number of cases it's going to equal to input dot next int then we want to loop over that so we're going to say for int number equal to zero uh, number is less than number of cases let me cases here go to the number plus plus all right then we have to take in those two digits so i'm going to say int uh, case one i'm going to equal to input dot next int and int case two is going to equal input dot next int and then we want to get the result right so this is the uh, part where you have to get right so we're going to equal we're going to use the reversed reverse number right and then we're going to say reverse number and we're going to take in the first case so we're going to say case one plus reverse number and we need a uh, case two and make sure that we uh we close this all right and then we just have to go ahead and print that out so on it has to be on this online so we have to use the uh print line method here and just print the results all right so i hope everything is right and you guys understand the question so the question is that once you're given a number right the, when the tragedy occurs the number uh, will reverse itself right so if you had 1200, you now you only have 12, and that's the that's the tragedy part of the of the problem, all right. And then once you get the two some of those two numbers, you actually have to reverse it again because it says that you have to get the sum. You have to get the sum, bring the sum of the reversed uh, numbers. Okay, so the sum of the reversed numbers has to actually be reversed as well. And I said this is the tricky part of the problem that they didn't get. So let's go ahead and let's uh, make sure everything is right. Hopefully, they have any spelling errors. Let's submit this. And let's see if I had any errors. Okay, so that was accepted. All right, guys, this will be it for this problem. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.